Welcome to the photography and video show 2022. So I'm here at Tamron stand. I wanted to really wanted to see 50 to 400 lens, but it's only on display in a cabinet. You can't even touch it now. There's also a new 20 to 40 lens, which is still in the cabinet. So hopefully, hopefully soon I'll have my hands on these lenses to to review them for all of you to to see what they all do. First Tamron for Nikon Z, the 70 to 300. Like literally, everyone is waiting for lenses from Sigma and Tamron to be available for Nikon Z, and there is one here, but I can't touch it. Great. I'm here in the Samyang stand. I had a look at the 35 mm the Mark II, which I haven't reviewed yet. That's coming on my channel very, very soon. But here I am with this new autofocusing cine lens, the first ever focusing or autofocusing cine lens. 75 mm T 1.9. Uh, it's very, very small. I'll be reviewing that soon, of course. But this is uh, something different. It's got electronic contact at the front for attaching electronically controlled anamorphic adapter, as I've been told. And it's tiny. How small is this lens? That's the entrance for people like me. Okay, we are here with a solar can, isn't it? Solar can. Just found this. This is incredible. Low, low tech technology. Look at us. Please. What's your name again? Uh, my name's Gemma. Gemma. This is Gemma from Solar Can. What does, what does Solar Can do? So, Solar Can captures a long exposure image uh, of the sun. So, there's a camera inside this can. You leave it for six months. Six months. Six months. And you get pictures like these. But this is a uh, cheap as well. 15, for a camera. For six months you leave it outside and then you, you're gonna see what kind of art you created with a can. Genius. Crazy. It's genius. We are here on my photo stand. You obviously think tripods, gimbals, tripods mainly my photo. But I found this here. This is absolutely amazing. Look at this. The content this is something for tethering when you're shooting a photography straight to your laptop. But for content creators like me, this is an amazing solution. You got a stand, you look at a laptop stand, also TV bracket which you can move. That's such a late. So the it's coming back. Let's look at this. It's got a bracket in the back, so you can tilt the TV, and you can adjust it up and down, and use it as a bracket for your monitor when you're filming yourself, or or just monitor when you're filming. Great solution, Manfrotto, winning it as always. So I'm here with Tim from Sigma, Sigma UK. So I've got two questions for you. Mm. First one, when I'm still eating a chocolate here, we're going to carry on, carry on. Okay. When is the 50mm f1.2 coming out? Mm. Art DGDN. A lot of people are asking us that actually. I know. We've had a few at the show. Um, nothing official. Um, I think the rumour came from a patent that Sigma uh, filed, but yeah, know, we, sorry, we, I... we are all waiting for that lens. Mm. And if Tim doesn't know yeah. it's coming out, nobody knows. No, I genuinely don't know. It's, I, I, I the don't second know. question is the one probably you asked a lot as well. When is a 70 to 200 f2.8 coming out? DigiDN. That's yeah. another one that um, uh, everyone wants for Sony uh, and L mount because um, we've got, of course, got the 72 in Canon and Nikon. Yeah. But, um, and the new version. We are waiting for a new version as well. Yeah, because people you've got, buy you've got, like, a similar catalog. You've got pretty much every lens you can think of apart from these two. Yes. And these two are kind of yeah, everyone yeah. is looking for forward, forward to. Yeah, because um, a lot of people like to have the, sort of the holy trinity way, the, the 14 to 24, yeah. 24 to 70, and then a 70 to 200. Yeah. But that's the one that's missing in the mirrorless mount at the moment. So um, we, we hope soon. I mean, I, I know Sigma Japan are very aware that people are, are waiting for yeah. it. So. Fingers crossed. So, uh, so one extra question. Now Tamron has uh, was announced mm. uh, the first and they come lens. Yeah, when 70 is, to 300. Yeah, 70 to 300. Yeah. When is Sigma going to doing, start doing lenses for Nikon or Canon RF? Yeah, we haven't had any uh, word from head office on whether we'll be going into Z or, or RF for that matter. But it's good news that Tamron are in because yeah. it means that Nikon have, looks appears that they're more open now to opening their mount up, which is great. Um, so fingers crossed, hopefully we'll see. Yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, I don't have any official line or any any information, but I hope that we'll see we'll be in Zen. We, we all hope, and uh, yeah. you know, I'm sure that you know, they are coming. Uh, yeah, my channel. I'll have, have a review for you as soon as they are available. Yeah. yeah. Also, awesome. thank you. Sir. You're not shaking hands. Still COVID. What's <laughs> that? I'm here on the dark side again. I mean, I'm on a count stand with my Sony camera, pretending I don't know what's happening. I think this is the only way to look at the Canon stuff. With what I have you heard of this brand before? Um, uh, what Canon? I never heard of it. You no. know, all dressed in red and black. Really weird. <laughs> there is again. Look, there's a girl 
and there's a lot of old dudes taking pictures of her because they have to. Secret of coming to a photography show like this is always bring your friend with you so they can <laughs> carry stuff for you. So here I am uh, on the stand with a uh, smoke genie stand with Simon. Hey. This is a this is an amazing little device I just found here. Uh, so what's about it, Simon? Uh, so basically, it is a three-in-one smoke machine. It does smoke, haze, and dry ice. So with a touch of a button, wow. you can create a smoke. And then if you add a fan, you can create a haze in the background. <laughs> This is amazing just because of the size of it. I mean, I have used uh, smoke machines before on a shoots, like music video shoots, and it's just, just too big for like a product photography or videography. Uh, yeah, this is amazing because it's, because it's not only portable, but you can only create a tiny bit of smoke. You need for like one picture or two pictures or a video shot and move on. Yes. Yeah, yeah the, whole, the whole idea is to sort of make smoke a bit more accessible to people. So most of the time you'd have to use a big old taser or a smoke machine just to create one little effect, which will create a lot of time. There's a lot of warm up time to do those sorts of things. So what we've done is try and make everything a bit more compact. It's amazing. Um, and you can do stuff like this with dry ice. This is, yeah, this is, this is something I really, really want because it's yeah, something uh, not only is different for starters, but it's, it's definitely useful. Oh, no, for someone like me, a content creator who actually, uh, or com commercial photographer, I do a lot of food photography. Uh, so, so something like this would be great because you, could, you don't have to create all the smoke. You can create only what you need for a shot yeah, and, and, yeah, exactly. and, and, because and pack it, it away because it's small. Yeah, because it's footprint, it's tiny, it looks like a vape. Don't vape it. Don't vape it. <laughs> don't vape it. It uses the same sort of vape technology, uh, same sort of glycerin inside of it. Um, but just a slightly thicker fog just to make that smoke ever so slightly thicker. Um, Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem at all. Thank you. There's a lot of, uh, lot of things to see, a lot of lenses to try, a lot of cameras to try, a lot of um, presentations and yeah, a lot of brands to talk to, see and demo their products. So leaving photography show, photography and video show 2022. As you can see, I've got hands full, full of stuff I have to carry. Oh no, it's not me, it's Hannah carrying my stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hannah, for being my... Uh, Your donkey. Don my donkey. <laughs> <laughs>